in sickle cell anemia and other hemoglobinopathies we are not expecting to see fragmentation what you expect to see will be an extra vascular hemolysis that is the red blood cells are damaged and then taken out by the spleen therefore the dumbbell curve must reflect in the peripheral blood picture measurement of hemoglobinopathies there should be no fragmentation however the key would be the disparity between the variation of cell shapes and sizes that you see on the peripheral smear and the measurements made with the uh, distribution curve that is the statistical measurement so in hemoglobinopathies your eyes will see bizarre shapes that the statistical counter would not pick up the, 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 the counter would not identify bizarre shapes so that's the key in, 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 in extravascular hemolysis.